This is Pittosporum tabira cream de mint. And it is a uh, low form, as you can see here. It's an evergreen shrub with variegated foliage, nice glossy, uh, semi-waxy leaf surface. And uh, the height you see there is probably two to two and a half feet high. And uh, they get three to five feet wide. A lot of people don't think they get this wide, but I've consistently seen them spread out over time. And uh, although you're looking at a grouping here that's, uh, um, you know, that they were probably planted two and a half to three feet apart, really, if you're doing a grouping, I think that's a good spacing, by the way. But this one right here is probably four to four and a half feet wide. So that's the size. Hardiness, they're hardy down to around 15 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And also, a lot of the Pittosporum family, including this one, are fairly reliable in terms of deer resistance. So I'll just throw that in there. Also, once established, they're quite drought resistant. The Pittosporum tabira family is very drought resistant. I think it has a lot to do with the waxy leaf. So what I like about this as a design element is obviously the foliage color. You see there that it's kind of a gray-green leaf and with a creamy margin. And uh, very good, clean-looking plant. This planting here is about 15 years old and has very little that the maintenance person has to do to it. That's the other thing, is it falls kind of in my sweet spot for design, which is plants between 12 and 12 inches and 36 inches high, and then having uh, little or no maintenance because the flowers aren't really significant on this plant. There's not a lot of maintenance. There's not, no, no flowers to clean up. There's no foliage drop. And because of the size, if you use them in the right place, you shouldn't have to prune them either. They have this nice, uh, more compact form that you're seeing. And uh, I, you know, plants like that, I'm able to use a lot in design because I'm always looking for ways to lower maintenance and also the water demand. So this one's pretty high ranking in terms of plants. Um, the only downside I found with Pittosporum tabira uh, of this type, uh, cream de mint or uh, Wheeler's dwarf, which is this is essentially a variegated variety of Wheeler's dwarf, is that they can get holes in them, and if they do, they don't always fill in very well. The wood is kind of soft, and then when it's broken, the hole doesn't always seem to heal back over or fill in the way you would hope. And... Um, but other than that, uh, pretty low care, high quality plant. I like this one a lot. And I think that's about what I can tell you. So low water, once established, uh, prefers a little regular water, but doesn't have to have it. And uh, again, using the foliage as the interest. I like to use a smaller group than this one here, typically, because again, I like lighter foliages to be contrasted by something darker. I think that's a little more interesting. But uh, still a nice planting here and a good example of Pittosporum tabira cream de mint. Enjoy.